Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson and I'm a certified life coach. This is going to be a new series that I'm starting and it's how you can be a happier, more attractive person in 21 days. So I'm going to do 21 days of videos and they're going to be short videos, just about three minutes or less. And it's just one little task for you to do every day. Now, if the series is finished, I don't want you to do all 21 in one day one a day because it takes 21 days to change a habit and at the end of the 21 days you're going to feel better look better and other people will notice too so the first one today is a little tip i'm going to give on how to control negative thoughts this is probably the number one thing people write to me and ask how to do so stay tuned and if you enjoy my videos please hit that subscribe button and like the video if you're enjoying this series but let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to talk about controlling negative thoughts now we all struggle with this because we have habits of a lifetime but do you ever notice maybe something really great happens to you and you kind of forget about it but if somebody betrayed you, you've been hurt, or you're angry, you just can't get the thoughts out of your head, no matter how much you try. And you know, if we master our thoughts, we master our life. So this little tip could be one of the most important things you could do for yourself. And I got this from a book called The Cloud of Unknowing. It was written by a mystic in the 14th century, and the author is unknown. But what he suggests to do is to pick one word. You know, I talk a lot about affirmations and mantras, but sometimes they're hard to remember and to put into your life. But every time a negative thought comes in your head, just pick one word that is meaningful to you, that has emotion. And some examples are God, love, source, infinite intelligence because that will change your energy but again you have to pick it and it's what is meaningful to you and has some emotion tied to it so the minute you think oh my gosh i can't believe that person did that to me and i think love 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 now in order to remember it maybe write it on a little post-it note or a little piece of paper keep it by your computer by your mirror so the minute you think oh and these angry thoughts god or love, or whatever you choose. And the more you use it, the more it will become your friend and it will automatically go into your head. So this is just my little task for you to do today. Stay tuned for tomorrow for number two. Now, if you enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button and share this with people that might enjoy this series. See you tomorrow.